Today we'll be talking about electrochemical cells, but in particular, the galvanic What Alessandro Volta said is that there are two different metals. For example, So now we're going to talk about the actual cell we have here, which is the galvanic cell. And basically, usually on the left side, there's this thing we call an anode. And this side would be the cathode. It's not always like this. And basically, this would be one metal, which is zinc. And this would be copper. So they're two different metals. And this is what we call the salt bridge. And the salt bridge acts like the dead frog's muscle in the earlier experiment. Basically, it comes in. Also, I must explain what is in here. So it's not just air in here. There is the sulfate solution of the metal. So if it's copper here, then you have copper sulfate, which is a liquid in this example. So it has some water, obviously has some copper, and a lot of stuff mixed in there. And that's kind of where you get the copper from that actually gets those electrons. And then the zinc here, it would be zinc sulfate. The electrolyte is in contact with both, both of the metals, both of the electrodes. And it keeps these two electrodes away from each other, away from touching each other directly. So. In this example, it's called a salt bridge. 
typically we have some sort of ions, mm, sodium chloride, or there might be some potassium, it really doesn't matter. Here is a wire, and what we do here is there are electrons moving from the zinc. So the zinc is giving away the electrons and is passing through the wire, and then the copper is receiving it. So if, if something is gaining an electron, it is obviously losing the charge. If something is gaining electrons, it has a negative charge, or a lower charge than, than previously. And if something is giving away electrons, then it is becoming more positive. So, basically it's getting more and more positive here, it's getting less and less positive, it's getting more negative here. So obviously this is very positive, very negative, so it's going to run out of electrons to give, right? So that's why we have the salt bridge. Not only does it keep them away from each other and sort of continue this cycle, but also it neutralizes these. This is an electrochemical cell. It's not just the electricity, it's not just the chemistry going on. It's both of these working. So we have a chemical reaction from here, you know, giving away the electrons and receiving the electrons and neutralizing both of these with the salt bridge. Through the electrons moving, we've created electrical energy, electricity. And that's why it's called an electrochemical cell.